morning. Right, we have just got the train from Carlisle to Armourfweight and I am walking uh, part of the Eden Way back to Carlisle. But I've got to get out of jail clause. If my ankle doesn't uh, hold out, I can bail out at about seven or eight miles. But uh, we're going to head and follow the river on this beautiful morning in the Eden Valley. Okay, we're on the go. So we basically come out of Armourfweight, we head down towards the River Eden, and we follow the River Eden basically all the way to Weverell. Um, we'll see how the ankle is at Weverell, and then we can follow more paths back to Carlisle. I think all total 13, 14 mile. So I think it's three hours for the first bit, and two and a bit hours for the last bit, depending on the ankle. But uh, I've got a, a glorious morning for it. Back there was a bit of an obstacle course. We had some ferns along with sort of uh, hawthorn bushes and stuff like that, which was a bit messy, but we got through. Um, but we'll soon be on the proper river track. We'll crack on. <laughs> Half that now follows the river, the River Eden, all the way down to Weverell. Um, it's part of uh, the Eden Way, which is 83 miles from roughly Yarsdale to Rockcliffe near Carlisle, but I'm just going to be doing a small section of it today. Well, I just hope underfoot conditions are like this all the way along. This is ideal. But I know for a fact it won't be. Right, the path in the woods ends. We've got to go up and around around the back of these woods. A lot of private fishing around this area. Don't want you in. Back down on the river path again. So this is Eden Browse. And this hill goes right up, I'll show you in a minute. Uh, but I think it was back about 2016 or 15 after the floods that we had. But this hillside has about 500,000 tonnes of the hill shifted towards the river. The railway was shut for just, uh, just under a year and at a cost of about 23 million to put right. Um, and this is obviously it's all finished, only finished. It took about two years to complete. Right, so this is Eden Browse. This is the bit that to repair as well. This massive concrete slab that's a pile drive right down. As I say, it was shut for nearly a year because this hillside slipped all the way down to the river uh, and that to stabilise it. It's a pretty impressive job when you drive over it now, mind. But you wouldn't think 23 million completely swallowed up by that one hole. So I believe there's sensors all over the, uh, the hillside monitoring any uh, movement. Anyhow, that's where we're heading. Let's get back on with this walk. Bloody Yorkshire, we're in Cumbria. How can they have the rights?
Right, so we have our first obstacle. Two trees down to the other block on the path. Right, I found this other seat. I'm gonna stop and have five. Put a brew on. Bike teeth, recharge the batteries. Right, brew time. Strange place for a headstone. Matthew Nubley died May something 18 or 1911, aged, it's hard to see, 33. Right, that's where we are at the moment. We're just going to follow a bit round and then there's the viaduct that I was telling you about. And then I can come back up that way and then along that path there, head back to Carlisle. It's not good, is it? Some barbed wire sticking out the ground. We've just been off piste again, sharing a path that obviously uh, horses use and as you can imagine it was fairly chewed up but we're back on some decent stuff now This is part of the Corby Castle Gardens. Uh, somebody out with a shotgun somewhere. Corby Castle is just up behind them trees. I don't know if you'll see it in the distance, but the uh, the viaduct. Right, nearly there. Corby Castle looking very majestic up there. Right, just a matter of a few steps to climb. Right, I'm puffing a bit now. Okay, this is where we leave the Eden now. Um, I'm heading back towards Carlisle. I'll join the river further downstream. This camera won't pick it out, but uh, some of my camping locations, Krishmi Crags, you've got Sighty Crag along there. Yeah, the weather's held out for us. Right, that's us leaving the river now. We'll, uh, we're heading this way. We've got a couple more off-road tracks, and I think the rest of it's sort of pavement and roads, stuff like that. Onwards. We're gonna stop here, a little bench, and have some dinner. Okay, so I think that first section was about nine miles, um, just over three hours, so it's not too bad really. I, I stopped for about 20 minutes for the brew, a bite to eat, but uh, yeah, not too bad. Another crossing. Okay, we've 
we've got a bit of tarmac plodding to do now for a couple of miles but uh, pretty boring so I'll bring you back once I'm back by the river again. Now back on the uh, river banks of uh, River Eden. This time we're in Carlisle. I've got probably about uh, a mile and a half to get home. I think it takes us with breaks about four and a half hours from Armourfwaite to where I am now. So I stop for a brew about half past ten and then I stop for some lunch about quarter to one or something. So not bad going. But another glorious autumnal afternoon. So I follow the river around. And back home. So unfortunately this golf course spends a lot of its time underwater because uh, that rises every time we get heavy rains, really heavy rains this golf course out of action flooded um, in the big big one we had in 2015 it was halfway up the trees I believe um, yeah it was out of action for months Now we're on part of the Hadrian's Wall path. Oh, I've just passed through it. So this is the bit you'd be taking if you were heading northeast. That one, back to Bournemouth. Okay, that's us nearly back now. Crossed over the river again. So uh, thanks for following us on this route from. Arm of weight down to Wetherill and back to Carlisle. I think about 14 miles. Um, I'll, I'll put uh, a map up of the route and the mileage, etc. But uh, I left Arm of weight just before nine, and it's just before three now, and I'm not far, not far from home at all. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.